I'm Sam Luttrell, I'm a partner at Clifford Chance in Perth. Why are seminars of this type good for you? Well, I think they're a very good way of giving people a high-level overview of the law and practice in particular areas, and also in, in other branches of, of, of business, including you know, structuring of assets and, and establishment of investments in Africa. So I think it's a good way of learning a lot quickly. And what about you, Sam? Um, why are uh, seminars of this uh, good for you? I think they're good for me because it's a good opportunity for me to meet a lot of clients who are very interested in understanding Africa and how to work there. Uh, and we assist companies dealing with issues in Africa. It's very obvious. There's a bunch of good Perth companies here. There's a bunch of interesting companies that are not yet known to me, including African Pod. Uh, and I'm here to meet everybody. So as simple as that. There are a lot of companies who would like to invest in Africa, but maybe are not sure how to. And also it's good because they learn the good, the good manners. Uh, the good way of investing in Africa. Why is Africa such a good place to invest? There's already so many investments in Africa, but uh, I think seminars like this promote Africans to do their own mining, their own investments, through the help of foreign investment still, but that's what I like about it. And what about you, uh, Mark? Uh, what do you think? Why is this? Why would you consider this an important forum? I think it's important at many levels. It allows, first of all, it allows people in, interested in investing in Africa or operating in Africa to meet each other. That's always good for business. And I think it also educates people on some of the risks and challenges and also opportunities they can face in, uh, in Africa. That's always useful before you make the first step. So for you in particular, uh, publishing the African geopolitics, uh, how does this uh, help to uh, promote businesses of this type? I think it promotes awareness of the real situation, of the realities in, in Africa and familiarizes people with some of the common challenges and uh, opportunities across the region. I think it promotes better visibility of the issues that are obviously topical at the moment um, and just giving an insight into how the, the market is turning. Um, and topics like um, investment protection are very important, especially when you've got um, sort of the areas of sovereign risk that people are more um, cautious of generally. Um, to give a deeper insight into the, the ins and outs of it is, is really important for those uh, looking to invest. Our well, seminars are good because for this, because there's a lot of interaction of like-minded people um, in the industry, and we all have different vested interests in financing projects in Africa, so it's good from that aspect. There will be a risk to get into in, in African projects which is different to the risk in other parts of the world and they need to understand what they are and how to mitigate those risks by taking the right actions and that's and then it then it's a decision process from there and that's what people need to understand is what are the risks and how to ameliorate those risks. I'm very happy, always uh, appreciate the opportunity to meet new people, uh, learn from people and just make connections. So for us, we're a newcomer uh, in the African market, we're still looking at this stage, we're not, not operating. So events like this is just a fantastic opportunity to meet people, learn new things and uh, get an understanding of the opportunities that are out there for us. We specialise in uh, logistics uh, and also um, resource logistics, I should say, and mining services. So we're very big in Australia and we've got a growing business in Indonesia and uh, we're looking at making a start in Africa too. Well, it's a good networking opportunity to, to uh, meet other uh, you know, players in the uh, mining industry in Africa. Yeah, Duros, my company, consults uh, to uh, mining companies in, in Africa uh, just, and, and other, you know, Australia as well. But, I've been focusing on Africa in previous years. Well, I think it's uh, a great opportunity to talk to people about uh, uh, the opportunities to get the sustainability aspects of their project right. Uh, it makes for a secure investment when people can see that uh, projects are uh, going to benefit all stakeholders. So 
yeah, just configured is really about sorting things, solving issues, sustaining uh, the way forward for uh, projects right across the sustainability field. Environment, health and safety, security and community matters are all intimately linked. And when we get those things right, we get projects up and running and sustained. It's a fantastic uh, network uh, event about Africa. Very interesting people to catch up with and uh, beautiful topics today. So it's going to be a great, uh, great evening and great event. I'm looking forward to learning about uh, investing in African uh, mining. Your insurance broking and risk management. Uh, success for this evening would mean uh, catching up with the people I already know, meeting some new friends and uh, learning a little bit more about um, the African mining uh, region. I'm from Africa originally, from Cameroon, and um, I just believe that um, it's always nice to network with people that um, have the same vision for Africa when it comes to um, wealth, uh, mentality and business investments. So we're, um, we're striving to get into um, crop production um, farming, mostly agricultural um, production and with, with the purpose to um, produce right up to the finished product and also um, provide a lot of charity and philanthropic work um, in other countries as well. Oh, because I love being with like-minded people who are interested in Africa and interested in, in what goes on in Africa and how we connect Australia and Africa. Um, I am the founder of a non-for-profit, Australia for Cedar Tanzania, um, and we conduct projects in rural Tanzania. Uh, we have built a hospital, uh, now run a hospital disability service, uh, we run teen projects, water and waste management and so forth. I work in, the, in a legal role often on African projects and um, part of that is really understanding the wider context of operating in Africa. And so it was for that reason that this was, the topic was interesting to me. What would I consider success for this evening? Well, for me to pick up some further pointers as to, I guess, um, African context and culture. It's a very uh, exclusive club of uh, groups, service companies, mining companies, explorers that get, can get together, have a common interest and to try and understand the, the complexity of Africa. And, uh, and eat, you know, we learn about country issues. Africa is not just one, one continent. I've been involved in Africa for 20 years and uh, and there's no such thing as sort of knowing Africa. You know, you know, one or twenty of the fifty countries that are, make up Africa, and that's why I like this this, this type of forum. It, it brings together and pools knowledge, and you can take away some things that you can maybe use as you learn and continue learning about a complex continent.